Welcome back to this week's Hiking in Colorado 14er Adventure. Today we are back in the Sangres doing Kit Carson and Challenger Peak. We just got up to Willow Lake here. We started from the lower, uh, the lower trailhead here. We did not backpack in last night because of our work schedules. We left at 3 a.m. and we got up here at 5.30 with taking our time. And this place is a sight to see. It's like a little oasis up above 11,000 feet. It's not quite sunrise yet, but I can't wait to see it when it gets here. We are doing Kit Carson's North Ridge, which we are basically going to be following the trail right up on the other side of the lake, up above this cliff and waterfalls, back through this basin right up top here on the other side of that ridge there. You can't see it from here, but the North Ridge start is right over there. And you're going to be following the standard alpha challenger until you get to this split off right here. And the standard challenger route goes up that way. I don't know if you can see these people right here hiking. Our split offs right here, you can see a giant cairn right there. Our direction is up that way. We've got a little bit more trekking through this basin before we get to the slope leading up to our ridge. Just got to this little waterfall here. It is 640 and we are headed towards these cliff bands straight ahead. Once we get on the other side of that, we will finally make our way up to the push. Uh, it's been pretty self-explanatory so far. Uh, it's been, there were a couple spots there where it was uh, a little easy to lose the trail, but you pick it up pretty quickly. There are Karen's marking it and everything now. So again, we're headed this way. And we've just been coming up the scree slope. Nothing exciting. And headed up there to the second ledge right up here and cutting across over there. You can see the remaining portion of the outward bound cooler. Um, it looks like it starts right where we're going to be getting onto that ledge. Uh, this part here has been kind of annoying, but you know, we're getting up here. It's not even 740 yet, so see if we can get lucky and hit the summit by nine. But I'm not putting timelines on anything. Safety is number one priority. A little bit of class three, taking us up to that ledge that we need to cut across. Finally into more solid rock. Coming up that screw was not fun, but we are definitely getting closer to the good rock. Brad's climbing up here. You know, you could have came up over that way there, but as you can see, there's some snow fields there that we don't really want to bother with. So we're going to take the fun, fun route up. And now the fun begins. The actual climbing part. This looks like so much fun. My GPS puts us just over 13.3. Don't know how accurate that is, which leaves us. A little over 800 feet of vertical climbing, which is going to be a blast. It's a little spicy. We got Ben leading the show up there. And he just reported that it was a little spicy. Spicy is fun. Spicy is good. And here's a shot from above. A couple nice moves down there. So far, so good. Gotta love that Sangre's rock. Look at our view. Amazing. And bends all the way up there. That is steep. You got this, Ben. No problemo. Billy goat mode. Definitely requires route finding and some climbing skills for sure. Dang. All right, man. You got some more climbing. Lots of fun climbing. Easy to find yourself in uh, a non-ideal situation with bad route finding. So just keep that in mind. But 
we are in a great area right now. Lots of, we went from a class four section to now we're back in class three. So it feels good getting back on solid rock again, but we are getting close to where we want to go and not too terribly far from the summit. Right up here on this little grassy section. And Brad tells me I need to come check out this view. So I'm gonna come over here and see what we got. Sorry for the shaking. Wow, you're not kidding. Whoa, look at that. Wow, and here is the crux of Kit Carson's North Ridge. Class four, though Brad's just scheming up it like nothing. Ha, huh, this looks like some fun climbing. Wow, look how steep that is. All right, once you get up over that crux and drop down a little bit, you'll see a nice well-defined trail. And this is the remaining portion to the summit. Just made it to the summit of Kit Carson via the North Ridge. Yeah. Took us just under seven hours. Starting from the trailhead, we did not backpack in. You got the crest stones right in front of us. And sand dunes down there. This is part of the avenue once you drop down from Kit Carson, making our way back over to Challenger. It's pretty well defined. I wasn't able to get a video at the cairn leading down to the avenue, but it's extremely well marked. There are two cairns around it, um, and it's pretty hard to miss, to be honest. Um, getting up here, and that is the next section of the avenue. And Challenger's back behind there. So far, so good. Um, probably going to be a little slow on this second ascent because my legs are tired and you know I'm going to go at my own pace. But I will get there and that's all that matters. Summit of Challenger Point, peak two of two. Thank you. Oh. Getting up that first uh, little hill. And I'm thinking about camping another night. I might go to the sand dunes tomorrow. But, good job, Brad.